But what I thought I would do a little bit to begin is just talk about film itself and our long love affair with it. And like a lot of things about just the movie making process in general, what started as a technical necessity gradually evolved into something that was really well understood as an art form. And then as we migrated away from it and started to shoot digitally, we became abundantly aware of something that we were kind of missing from the good old days of film. And there are directors today who still insist on shooting film, there is definitely a sense that film has a certain power over us visually that digital acquisition struggles to achieve. I, ho I hope that's fair to say, but it seems to be kind of the, the kind of popular consensus about the issue. So why is that? It's one thing to kind of understand that that's the case, but it's another thing to dig in and try to understand why that might be. And if we understand why, well then kind of uh, Steve Yedlin's sense of like, if we can measure it, well then we can you know, replicate it, right? So this is a little cross section of a piece of film and it's so much simpler to talk about black and white film, but basically we all have heard this idea of these silver halide crystals, right? This sort of idea that like film has this silver chemical component to it. And what happens is that this is a film negative, which means that as light is exposed to it, it ultimately is gonna create a dark area on that negative. And the way that happens is that just light hits these crystals and they react chemically to being exposed to light. And then we, when we develop them, we kind of freeze that moment of some of these little particles have been exposed to light and some of them haven't. And we apply this fixer chemical to it and we kind of hold that moment and then we make it so that we can pull that out into the daylight and look at it and it won't uh, continue to expose. So that concept of light hitting these things and, and exposing them carries with it a lot more nuance than is immediately apparent just hearing those words. Because what happens is that if a certain amount of light hits it, it's a little bit exposed. And if more light hits it, it's more exposed. 